Jeff, let's get right into it then, uh, because we've got so much to talk about. Patrick Mahomes signs a 10-year extension uh, worth a reported $503 million. It ties him to the Chiefs for the next 12 years through the 2031 season. First, just, just give me your initial thoughts to begin with. Well, I, I think it's a win-win. I, obviously, it's a win for Patrick financially, and it's a huge win for Kansas City because that's their guy, and that's the guy that they want to take them for the next 10 years, to guide that franchise for the next 10 years. And I think it's a deal that is, you know, the first reaction that you have is, oh, my God, how are they going to fit everybody in the cap with that deal? But I, as you start to go through the, you know, the mechanics of the deal, Neil, I think it's friendly for, for them to continue to build their football team around Patrick Mahomes. Let's talk about the player first, Jeff. Uh, the accolades keep coming for Patrick Mahomes. Uh, in his first full season as a starter, he was the league's MVP. Uh, in his second full season as a starter in 2019, uh, he was the Super Bowl MVP and a Super Bowl champion. He's already been to two Pro Bowls. Uh, in the past two seasons, Jeff, he's thrown for 9,128 yards and 76 touchdowns. I mean, you you felt this was coming, a, a groundbreaking deal for a player of this magnitude, didn't we? It was just because of how everyone's been talking about Mahomes. Yeah, I think I think it's a situation, Neil, that we kind of understood was in the works. And and yesterday it came out that Brett Veach said that they've been working on this deal since 2018. And, you know, obviously they know how important he is for their plans. Andy, Andy in his press conference said, hey, I put on my best Tommy Bahama shirt in celebration of getting Patrick Mahomes. So that's pretty deep praise right there. But, you know, Andy Reid needs I no he's... introduction, no excuse to put on a Hawaiian shirt, Andy Reid. <laughs> but you know what? It's such a great deal. And I think the kid's going to be every penny of it, you know, because of his not only the things that you just put on the, you know, on the screen there, but his leadership. The way he's loved in the community is his international. He, he will be the next superstar, the next rock star, if you will, of the NFL. And, and uh, I think that, you know, it's going to translate into marketing and all kinds of spinoff benefits to the Chiefs. Let's look at this deal then. It was a historic deal in terms of the sporting landscape. No sportsman has ever or sportswoman has ever been paid uh, as much as Patrick Mahomes. Uh, there is a no trade clause uh, in the deal. It's the first time that an NFL player has actually been uh, the highest paid player in the history of sport. Um, Jeff, as we look at the deal, and I, again, it's it's 503 million. There are lots of guarantee mechanisms. I don't know what they mean, but they are, there's lots of language. I'm sure we'll never actually see all of it. But you know, even the critics of this deal said, well, actually, it's 503 over 12 years or whatever. I mean, even then, it's he's going to get 39 and a half million per year uh, Russell Wilson's top of the market at 35. There's been a lot of criticism of Mahomes for signing such a long deal and giving away leverage. I want to get your thoughts on that because I, I sometimes think, does there have to be a winner and a loser in a trade? Can't it be exactly what you just said, a win-win? Why do we have well, to criticize Patrick Mahomes for, for signing a long deal and not having to worry about anything financially for the rest of his life and he can just go and play football? Well, I think Patrick said it really well last night when he said he didn't want it to be a situation where he's the guy that took all the money and there was none for anybody else. He's interested in building a dynasty. He talked about building a legacy in Kansas City. And I think, you know, that's uh, that's really, really important that we remember that. But this is a different kind of kid. He could have been a guy that just – he broke the bank and, and bankrupted the Chiefs because they were willing to do almost anything to keep him. And what he did was very similar in some ways to what Brady has done over time in New England, where, yeah, he could have held a gun to their head, but his, he said, hey, let's, let's make it so that I'm compensated, and certainly he's compensated extremely well, but also yeah. where there's room going forward for us to have a, a great football team in Kansas City for the next 10 years. Yeah, Mahomes said, uh, I wanted the security to take care of my family and future generations, but I also wanted to have a great football team around me. You can see this Chiefs team being in the Super Bowl mix for the next 10 years or more, Jeff. And actually, when you look at 
These are the guys that have earned the most money in their NFL careers. Eli Manning, 252 million. Peyton Manning, 248 million. Drew Brees, 244. Tom Brady, 235. Big Ben, 227. Let's say they chop the back end, the, the back three or four years off Mahomes' deal. Let's say he earns $400 million throughout his NFL career. He's eclipsing anyone who's ever picked up a football. So he doesn't, He's, he's not going to go hungry on this deal. I'm, I'm, I was actually really disappointed to see how much criticism there was for Mahomes because he didn't tick every box of this is how you play the leverage game. He didn't need to. He wants to play football. He's already going to be handsomely rewarded. Yeah, and I think he realizes, like, how much money do you ha have? We're talking about $400 million, Neil. And he's not only taking care, like you said, he's not only taking care of his self, but his children, their children, and on into perpetuity, you know, his entire family. And, you know, I, I think there comes a point where your ego gets involved. And this is where I sense Lee Steinberg very much. Yeah, me too. And you know Lee. Me too. I, I just really think he always sees, he, he always tries to leave every deal in a situation where both sides come away feeling good about the deal. And I think he's done that again.